Project Management Decision Making 17. The scenario. The mega project is a very ambitious project for the project owners organization. Of late, this project is in turmoil. The project manager of the project resigned. You are brought in as the new project manager due to your track record of managing projects well. From the day one onwards, you are confused because the key stakeholders are throwing mud at each other. Moreover, the key sponsor of the project is no more excited about the project from his body language. How will you approach this scenario? I'll read it again. The mega project is a very ambitious project for the project owners organization. Of late, this project is in turmoil. The project manager of the project resigned. You are brought in as the new project manager due to your track record of managing projects well. From the day one onwards, you are confused because the key stakeholders are throwing mud at each other. Moreover, the key sponsor of the project is in is no more excited about the project from his body language. How will you approach this scenario? The probable actions are 1. Do not do anything during the first 90 days. Just try to understand the situation. 2. Call for a key stakeholders meeting to identify the real problems. 3. Talk to the previous project manager to get her views. Fourth option, study the business case of the project and check for its validity in the present day environment. So let us go through the probable actions once again. Do not do anything during the first 90 days. Just try to understand the situation. Option number two, call for a key stakeholders meeting to identify the real problems. Third option, talk to the previous project manager to get her views. And the fourth option, study the business case of the project and check for its validity in the present day environment. So which one would be the best option? The best option is Study the business case of the project and check for its validity in the present day environment. So let us try to, let us go through these options once again so that uh, we can discuss how we arrived at this particular one. Uh, the first option was uh, do not do anything during the first 90 days. Just try to understand the situation. The project is already in trouble. So we don't have the luxury of you know, waiting for another three months without any action. So it is a crisis situation. So the first option is ruled out. The second option is call for a key stakeholders meeting to identify the real problems. Already the stakeholders are fighting each other. They are throwing mud at each other. So even if you call for a meeting, uh, they may not really open up and discuss the the real root causes uh, because the uh, the because the environment is slightly political now uh, so don't expect miracles like you know all these guys comes in and then uh, discuss the uh, the real real issues uh, which is hampering the progress of the project so the option 2 in this scenario this is not that valid 
talk to the previous project manager to get her views that is a great option uh, we can do that there is nothing wrong with it but then she is already sacked from the project and sometimes it can can so happen that sometimes her views can be very biased so we cannot blindly rely on that so we can do that but then we cannot blindly rely on that because she can be really agitated uh because she is sacked from the project so study the business case of the project and check for its validity in the present day environment another pointer to this is uh the sponsor is no more uh motivated about the project the body language is misleading he is not that inspired uh maybe the reason could be uh the business case of the project is no more valid in the in the change present present day environment for example now let us say somebody started a project in the tourism segment and suddenly because of the pandemic even if they complete the project very quickly there is no business case because the uh, the tourism industry is is totally down so there is no hurry to complete the project on time and even if they complete even when they complete uh nobody knows when this tourism industry will be revived uh so at the same time if they say if they abort the project without completing it lot of money the sunk cost can be very high so a, a sponsor may not do that either uh so maybe uh, pivoting the business case to something better you can work along with the sponsor uh, but for that you need to validate uh, the the relevance of the business case in the present day environment two advantages one is you re- you really understand the business case and you can talk to the sponsor with respect to the business case uh, and the second option is uh, no the other advantage is you can you can always uh, advise uh, the sponsor uh, if the business case validity is lost because of the changed environment you can always advise or help the sponsor to redefine or pivot the business case into something uh, still valid maybe a, a resort can become uh, uh, a hospital or or a health uh, it can be linked to uh, health tourism and stuff like that so first understand what was the business case uh and what is the validity of that as uh, as of now uh with respect to the changed uh, business environment so of the options this one is the best so if you have not uh, subscribed to our channel yet please do subscribe uh, so that you will not miss out on any of the updates and uh, you have if you have not visited our site yet visit pmritraining.com thank you very much